friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jessie and I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. If those are the type of videos you are interested in, please make sure that you take a minute and click that red subscribe button. I'm really excited about today's video. As you can see in front of me, I have so many crafty things. I'm going to be setting up July in my planner get it all set and ready for my monthly budget and my typical planning. I'm thrilled and excited to be moving forward into July. June was a craptastic month in um, my budget situation, so I'm ready to move forward. Uh, put June behind me, even though June had a lot of really great memories and things um, with vacation and that sort of thing, my budget was off the rails. So I'm psyched to be moving forward. This video is so much fun for me to film every month because it allows me to be super creative. I used to do a ton of planning in my planner with lots of stickers and different things, um, doodling and coloring, and I don't do so much of that anymore with the exception of once a month when I get to sit down and set up my spreads. So I have in front of me hopefully everything I'm going to need. I'm going to be going with a very much patriotic sort of layout for July. And so I pulled in some red, white, and blue washi tape. I'm not sure which of these I'm going to be using. Probably not all of them, but I have this sort of white and red striped washi tape that I believe came from Dollar Tree. Um, actually, I think all of these came from Dollar Tree with the exception of maybe this one. You guys, I've had all of this washi tape so long. My collection of washi has grown over the years and sat and collected dust for far too long. So I've been trying to incorporate it more into my planning. And mostly I'm going to be using this to cover up the binding for my planner pages that I'm going to be putting into my planner today. So if you've never seen one of my budget videos before, you wouldn't know, but I use a big happy planner, which I have here, as you can see on metal discs. But inside of that planner, I add a lot of fun printables that I found on Etsy. Um, I also add in the pages from the Budget by Paycheck workbook, which I have the principal version of, and I have pages from an Erin Condren monthly planner that I like to add in there as well. So the cover and the discs and a few of the inserts in here are from Happy Planner, but most of what I put in my planner is from various other sources. I'm going to have everything that I can linked down below so you can easily reference it and purchase any of these things if you're interested. I do have coupon codes for Erin um, Condren, which is where these inserts come from. This is her monthly planner, although the one she has available now looks different than this. This is an older design but it still works great. I purchased the big size Erin Condren monthly planner, which is eight and a half by 11, same size as my big happy planner. I uncoiled it because it comes on a big metal coil and I'm just going to cover up this binding with some pretty washi tape, punch through it using an arc punch so I can put it into my big happy planner. So I have those here to do that with. In addition to these pages, I also have some pages that I printed myself on 28 pound paper. Um, these are inserts for a dashboard layout that I purchased from an Etsy shop. I will link that below as well. You can buy the printable, print it yourself. These are the pages that I'm going to be using to plan out my um, content, do all my content planning for YouTube. So I have these here I need to put into my planner. And then of course I have my budget by paycheck worksheets so that I can punch these. I printed out quite a few more of these worksheets than I typically do. July is a fresh start for me. Um, the second half of the year, I'm going to be making some changes to the way that I budget. And one of the things that I really want to focus on is 
keeping track of my spending um, more thoroughly and also kind of comparing my spending month to month. So I don't typically print out the expense trackers, but I'm going to try tracking my expenses um, this way in addition to my sticker tracking that I always do. And I also printed out the where did my money go worksheets. I've never used these before, but I feel like comparing things month to month might be really good for me. So in addition to all that, plus my planner, I have here the stickers I'm going to be using. So these stickers come from Jennifer Ann Plans. She so kindly sent these to me to try out. I used her stickers in June and really loved them. So there was no doubt in my mind I wanted to use her stickers again in July. So I have a ton of stickers here to work with. I have her skinny washi that I'm going to be using today. This is her monthly calendar layout that I'm going to use for my transaction tracking calendar, which we'll set up together. She has these um, various scripts that I'm going to be using. She also has the first through fifth paycheck scripts, which I'm actually considering using this month as well. I really want to do a deep dive into my budget and start tracking things a lot more thoroughly. So I might be using some of these. I haven't exactly figured out which stickers I'm going to be using, what I'm going to be setting up today. We're just going to kind of find out together. I have a savings tracker. I have a payment tracker, a debt snowball tracker, an expense tracker. And then I have her beautiful washi strips in this like very patriotic theme. So there's the red, white, and blue stars. There's this blue and white polka dot, which I think is so pretty. Um, there's the red, white, and blue stripes, the red chevron, the red, white, and blue polka dots, which are beautiful. And then there's a July budget, which I am going to be using. I'm going to start trying to set up an overall monthly budget. We're still going to be budgeting by paycheck like we always have with the budget by paycheck workbook, but I also want to set up a monthly budget to kind of see how I can do overall with the month. We'll see how that goes. So this is the July budget with the variable and fixed expenses. She also has it available in just bills and expenses. Um, if you don't budget, you know, fixed and variable, you can kind of list everything out using this setup. So I'll probably be using one or the other, if not both. Um, and then there's a sinking funds um, sticker with a transaction log. This I think is for sure going to be a separate video when I do my whole sinking fund revamp, which I'm psyched about. So I'm going to set this off to the side because I know I'm not going to use that today. And then I have these bill due stickers as well. So that's everything from Jennifer Ann Plans. The only other stickers that I'm going to be using are stickers that I made for myself, which I have in the back of my calendar here. Um, these are the stickers that I use to track my transactions. Each of my transactions that happen throughout the month get categorized into a handful of categories. Each of those categories gets a color and I track everything using a calendar system, which you will see. And I also created myself a little key to use this month. This is just one of these really old um, like scrapbooking cards. I don't even remember the company that makes these. I have a whole stack of these that I've had in my stash of planner goodies for like seven years or something. And this one just happened to be patriotic themed. So I've pulled it to use. I'm going to punch it with my arc punch and stick it in my calendar layout so that I can easily reference my categories. And I changed up some of the colors that we're going to be using this month as well. We'll get all into that. This is going to be a long video. I've talked enough. Let's go ahead and start setting this planner up for the month. Okay, so the very first thing I need to do before I can start putting in pretty stickers and writing out my bills and all of that is to get these pages set up to be punched. Now, obviously, I could just punch through this and it would still totally function. I like to cover up these pre-existing holes with washi tape just because it's a little bit prettier. 
Um, plus it gives me a chance to use all of my washi tape that I've had um, in my stash for so long. So I need to pick a washi tape and start covering up all of these holes. I'm likely going to fast forward through some of this because like I said, I think this video is going to get pretty darn long. But the stickers that I'm going to be using to set this page up, I want to pull out just so that I can see what they look like, are this um, calendar set up here. So there's going to be the stars across the top. This um, sticker does not quite fit in this section here, so I need to add a skinny washi as well, which I will likely do uh, maybe the red chevron or the polka dots. So... This blue with the stars is really, really pretty, but we've already got a ton of stars going on, so I'm not going to use this one. Um, so I could use the little picnic basket washi, uh, or the picnic blanket washi, which I think is really cute and different from all of the patterns here. I could use the stripes, which I think are really cute as well, or I could use the polka dots. Um, I'm leaning towards one or the other of these since there's not a whole heck of a lot left on this roll. So decision time. Do I want stripes or the plaid? I think I'm going to do the stripes. And if you guys were screaming at me to use the plaid, I apologize. Maybe I'll use some of these other ones um, later on in the spreads. So I'm going to set these off to the side and I'm just going to start covering up the existing holes here with the washi. The way that I do that is pretty simple. I just run the washi along the side here. And it's as simple as that. Then I just cut off the excess and flip it over and do the same on the other side. So I'm going to fast forward you guys through this because it's going to be a lengthy process, but, um, you know, you'll get to see kind of what it looks like and it would help if I lined this up. Okay. So rewind. I was putting this super cute washi tape on all of the pages, but you guys it just was not sticking. Um, I've had all of this washi tape, like I said, for years. So I pulled it back off and I was going to use um, one of these other ones, but they're not sticking super well either. So I think maybe it's just not meant to be this month. I might use some of these in some of my other planner spreads throughout the month, but for now, I'm just going to bite the bullet and attempt to punch these pages without covering the pre-existing holes. I'm hoping I don't end up hating it. If I do, then, you know, as long as the pages still function and turn well, I'm not going to stress about it, and I'll just do the washi tape again in August. But for now, I'm just going to try to make it work with what I have, because um, the washi tape's just not sticking. So I have my gigantic arc punch. This is the punch that I use to punch all of my pages. Um... It works really well. I like it a lot. It works with the Happy Planner Disc Bound System. So yeah, I have all of my July pages. I've got them all lined up the proper way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch them and hope for the best. Might have to break these up a little bit because these are some thick pages. So I'll do it half and half. I'm just gonna punch them, make it work. Hopefully I don't regret doing this. Yeah, it looks not so pretty, but as long as the holes function and everything's okay, I'm fine with it. Once it's on the discs, you won't even really be able to tell, hopefully. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, so that's that. Let's get these pages put in and see how it looks. July pages are going to go right after June. Obviously, that's how calendars work, Jesse. So, go ahead and put these in. Yeah, really not crazy about that exposed um, thing here. 
might use some sticker paper or something to cover them up in the future but for now it is what it is we're just gonna make it work because I don't have time to mess with it so I've got those pages in they seem to turn just fine so oh I really hate the way that looks really hate that okay give me another minute okay so I ended up using the blue star washi it ended up sticking and actually working out really pretty really well so um, after lots of trial and error we're finally ready to stick these pages in um, I have a couple more notes pages that I can definitely um, add tape to and punch and put it in there if I need to but um, for now everything's good to go I'm all set ready to put these pages in and start actually setting up the month after all that we're probably like 15 minutes into this video and I've not set anything up yet so it's just how things are going today of course I'm trying to film videos and get them done quickly and be ahead of schedule so of course everything is taking forever and I just put that page in upside down the great thing about this situation is that the washi tape actually helps to reinforce the page. Um, sometimes if you are pulling things in and out of the Happy Planner disc bound system or really any disc bound system, um, you can have a scenario where you rip the little um, holes, but with the washi tape, they're reinforced, which is nice. So. That doesn't quite line up right because I punched this page upside down, but that's fine. It is what it is. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for done. So now that I have my July pages in, we can start laying down stickers, putting in my bills for the month. Again, I'm probably going to fast forward through a lot of this because it's just... Um, you know a lengthy process and this video can get super long and I know it's not like everyone's cup of tea to begin with so I'm going to start out by putting in my Jennifer Ann plans monthly stickers and um, doing the dates and I'll be right back to start putting in my bills let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit better <laughs> Okay, so I got all of my stickers laid down here for the foundation of my calendar spread. I think it looks really pretty. I'm happy with it. Now I need to start putting in my bills. For adding in my bills, I could use the Jennifer Ann Plans stickers, but I'm not quite sure there's enough here. Um, if I were to order from Jennifer Ann Plans, um, in order to have enough stickers, I think I would have to order two of these. But since I only have one, that's totally fine. I will just use the stickers that I make for myself, which I just printed and cut this morning. And these are the ones that I use typically to track my bills. And this is the one that is on my little key which I still need to punch actually let me do that really quickly just again using my big arc punch pop it in here and now it will pop right here into my calendar so that I can easily reference it to see what's what so yeah we're gonna start entering in my bills so I'm actually just gonna pop this right back out 
and I'm going to start laying these down. So I'm going to actually pull my June calendar here. So I'm actually going to pull my June calendar here to reference where my bills go in July because they're the same due dates, right? So my bills in June were in this orange color. So all of these orange stickers are bills that I need to enter in to July. So on the first, I have water, cable, and lot rent due. So three stickers on the first. Oh, actually, you know what? These are paid with June's income. So these are not July bills. See, this is what happens when I don't pre-prepare for this video and I just try to fly by the seat of my pants. Luckily, I um, print all of my stickers that I make myself on removable matte paper. So these stickers will peel right up, no problem. So by the time we get to the 1st of July, these bills will already be paid because I get paid on June um 29th and i will use that paycheck to pay all of the bills up until my first paycheck in july which will happen on the 6th so i don't need to put these in here they're already on june's calendar so the next bill then that is due is actually not until the 8th and that's disney plus and hulu but i'm not going to put those bills in here because i have actually um, a plan to set up a sinking fund for my subscriptions. Spoiler alert, you'll see that in my um, sinking fund revamp video. I don't know what I'm going to title that yet, but so I don't need to put those in here either. That will be a sinking fund, which I don't track on this calendar. So the first bill we're actually going to have to pay from our checking account is going to be our Boost Mobile bill on the 9th. So I'll go ahead and stick that in. I've got stickers everywhere now. Um, also, our camper payment will be on the 9th. So I'm going to stick that sticker there. And then I have Michigan Gas on the 16th. as well as DTE on the 16th. So that will have to go in there as well. I have Lowe's on the 20th. On the 23rd, I have Audible, but that's going to be part of my subscriptions. So I also have motorcycle insurance, car insurance, and my car payment. So three bills there. I am going to write them in. I'm just kind of trying to get all the stickers down first. And I actually could have written them all down while the sticker was still on the paper and then transferred them into my calendar, but I didn't think of that until right now. So this will be just fine. So motorcycle insurance, car insurance, Subaru. And then I have my Walmart credit card due on the 27th. Um, and then we have August's water, cable, and lot rent that are due on the 1st of August. So those go 
into August calendar, so I don't actually have to worry about those. So that's actually it. I definitely could have used my Jennifer Ann Plans Bill Do stickers. Um, but, you know, live and learn. So that's it for my bills. Since I took a lot of the bills out for um, sinking funds, those will be tracked elsewhere. Not a whole lot here, so let me just write them in really quickly. And I may, as I'm going through, discover that I missed one here or there that I need to add in as well, because this seems like very few stickers here. So, um, so we have boost and our camper payment on the 9th. Sixteenth is Michigan Gas and DTE. Twenty-third car insurance, bike insurance, and my Subaru payment. Lowe's on the 20th, Walmart on the 27th, all right, lot rent will be paid at the end of June and then again at the beginning of August, so I don't need to put that in this spread at all. My lot rent cable and water bills were actually on um, June's calendar twice. So that's why it's already been taken care of. That's why it's not in here. It's still going to be paid, just not with any of my paychecks that happen in July. It'll get paid again with the first paycheck of August. Speaking of paychecks, I want to go into the back of my planner here and pull out the payday stickers I'm going to be using, which are from Caffeinated Kate. I purchased the printable ones. Um and just printed them and cut them myself, but you can get them from her shop that are already printed and cut and she'll mail them to you. If um, that's more your style, I have her shop linked down below. So I'm just gonna stick in my paydays. So I have payday on the 6th of July. My husband's paid every Tuesday. So also the 13th. the 20th and the 27th and then I get paid from YouTube on the 21st so those are all our paydays all of our bills, the rest of our transactions will get added in throughout the month as they happen. So I'm just going to pop my little key back in here. And that is it for this spread. Next up, I'm gonna turn to my monthly budget that's going to go right here I think this is new for me like I said I don't typically write a monthly budget typically I just do weekly budgets and that's still going to be primarily what I do but I just want to kind of write out an estimate of what I think I'm going to spend in July um, I don't think I'm going to put the numbers in right now I'm just going to um, put the stickers down so the first thing I want to do is pick a header and I think I will use this polka dots. I think that's really pretty. And I'm going to use, um, yeah, this one. So I'm just going to lay this header down across the top, attempt to get it straight, but who knows if I'll be able to manage it. 
Mm, sort of. And then I'm going to stick this July budget heading across the top. I love the script that she uses for this. All right, now we're going to put in this little strip that says income. This will be where I will write my income in. So you guys likely will not see this spread again since I don't disclose income here on my channel. I used to use a similar setup to this um, when I did two separate planners. I'd ha I had my planner that I kind of showed on camera and then I had my planner that I just kept for myself. Now I'm kind of combining everything so I'll just have to be careful about what pages I show you guys. So I'll write in the income sources that is gonna be, I'll, I'll just kind of save a few lines. I don't wanna write anything in here because I don't want to mess anything up, I guess. So I'm going to use a little strip of washi to kind of separate everything. Oh, well, I need to put the total income in, strip in first. Getting ahead of myself. Sorry, you guys. So I'm just going to stick the total income in here. And then a little separator strip just because I have them. Might as well use them, right? And then we'll go ahead and put in my bills and expenses strip right here. And I'll kind of figure everything out off camera. Um, and I'll put the rest of these kind of stickers in after I've filled everything in. So that's it for that. Next up, I have my um, sheet, my dashboard sheet here where I keep track of our credit score, our notes, our debt, and our goals for the month. So for this, I'm going to use that sheet of stickers with the scripts, which I need to find here. Here we go. So we're going to do monthly goals. Right here. We're going to do credit score. Here, and I always just list my husband's credit score and my credit score the first day of the month based on um, Credit Karma, which I know is not super accurate, but I'm not really interested in how accurate the number is. I'm interested in seeing the trends, seeing my credit score go up or down based on how much credit we, credit card debt we pay off. Um, so the little debt sticker then will go in here and I will just list out my debts from lowest to greatest here and then the last little sticker I'm going to use this section down here I use for notes so I'm just going to stick the important notes header there all of this I will fill in on my own time and I think that that's going to do it for this video I'm going to fill in my sinking funds and my transaction log here but that'll be a separate video so be on the lookout for that so yeah this is all kind of set up and ready to go for the month of July in terms of that oh the other thing I need to do is punch my budget by paycheck workbook pages to go in here obviously that's very important we need those so I'm going to pull those pages in which I have right here. I print these on 28 pound paper. Got everything kind of all set and ready. So I need to pull my big old punch in here again. 
and we're going to kind of break this up a little bit so I'm not trying to punch too many pages at once. This um, punch can handle quite a lot though in terms of pages. It's a big hefty guy so I'm just going to stick these here. Punch. And the other half. And we'll go ahead and pop these pages in as well so that they are all set and ready to be set up for my Paychex Weekly, which you guys will see in upcoming videos throughout the month. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a little all over the place. I have yet to have one of these monthly setup videos go completely as planned. There's always some sort of snafu, but in the end, I'm happy with the way that it looks. So yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. I'd love to have you come back and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.